Hey guys, good afternoon. Linus or Zika here. I wanted to drop off a quick tutorial video that uh, I am not going to take credit for. It's actually my wife that stumbled on this, uh, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I wanted to pass it along to you guys. Uh, I, I know a lot of you guys are into creating a, a Facebook fan page, and there's kind of a debate out there. You know, uh, you've got your, of course, your your normal Facebook profile, okay, but some people like to create a fan page. Some people like to create a group page. My honest opinion is create both for now and see which one you get a better turnaround in. You know, a little bit better turnout. Now the reason for that is that you can do a split test on it and see which one garners you better attention, which one you get more results from, and then just, you know, whichever one is not working, just drop that off to the side. So, um, do that now. But, I've already created a group page, and I, I did this, gosh, over a year ago. And, uh, you know, I've got my own group going inside of Facebook separate from my profile. But what my wife stumbled on, uh, she's created a, a coupon blog. It's called thecouponness.com. Feel free to stop by, leave some comments, giving her a little promo here, a little shout out, so you guys can stop by there. It's just thecouponness.com. See it on your screen right now. But uh, she wanted to connect her Facebook fan page, which is the couponness, to her blog site. So she was looking for a way to do that. Now, since I had never created a fan page, I had no clue that anything was out there. But she stumbled on this. I'm going to show you here real quick, okay? So, <clears throat> this is the fan page that I, I just created this morning, um, and you can see I've already got my blog feed running into it, okay? What I've done just for tutorial sake, I had gone through, disabled the blog feed, and then I'll show you how to set that up, okay? So the first thing you do is go to notes right here on, on the screen, and if you, if you don't have a notes tab already, just hit the little plus button, and it'll bring up an option for notes. Now it's not going to do it for me here because I already got the notes tab sitting there, but just hit the little plus button. And there'll be a little icon, looks like a little uh, tablet sheet of paper just for notes. Click on it and it'll automatically pop the notes up into your, uh, the top of your uh, fan page. So just click notes and then go to write a new note. Okay. Now back at the very top here, there's this little icon that says notes right above it. Just click on that. Okay. So, right here, you'll notice this little section that says, Note Setting. You are not importing notes from an external blog. So, you want to import a blog. You just click on that. And what you'll do is, in this little box here, at the bottom of the screen, uh, let's see, right in this area here, what you'll do is actually put your blog feed into this. Now, my blog site is just linusrazika.com, but I want to have the feed from that. Okay? So, what I do is just HTTP colon forward slash Linus Ruzika dot com forward slash feed okay click this little thing here it just says by entering the URL you represent you have the right to permit us to reproduce content on Facebook site and if the content is not obscene or illegal which it better not be because you're doing a blog site right you want to have it be a clean blog site just hit start importing It's going to sit and chug and churn. and So it says, we successfully imported your blog but didn't find any new posts. Just go to continue. And I think the reason I did that is because I've already included some posts from a uh, previous feed. But uh, that's all right. Just for tutorial sake, we'll show you what's going on here. So um, I like to view them in, in compact form. I mean, you can kind of get an idea. You know, here's the full form here for each blog. Okay. If you just do compact, it'll break it down into the five most recent blogs. Okay, and that's the way that my blog is set up. It just shows you the five most recent ones on the front. Then you can go and, and take a look at more uh, in-depth ones as you work into it. So, just go back to your your Facebook fan page, and it'll show you. Ah, voila! There they are. Okay, perfect. So you've got your blog roll, your blog feed, sending your blog post directly to your Facebook fan page. Pretty cool, huh? So I wanted to pass that along to you again. Thanks to my wife Melissa. Uh, you know, give her plenty of credit here. I'm just passing it on to you guys so you can take a look at it and and uh, and go from there. So hopefully you guys learn something new from it, and you'll be able to connect your blog and your fan page together. If uh, you don't have it already set up on your your Facebook profile, um, you can certainly do that as well uh, with a couple different change settings there that uh, are all related to RSS feeds and uh, a tool I like to use called OnlyWire.
but that's that, that's for another post. So I'll let you guys go for now. Hope you had a good day. Learning something from some of the videos.